I don't care what the bed looks like. I just think it says a lot about who you are as a person. ¿Qué pasa y cómo está mi gente? I am Zay Zay and welcome to Chore Champion here on Scary Mommy, the competition show where couples battle it out to see who does chores best. Today, we're taking on a good one. This is making the bed. Let's meet our contestants. The way I make the bed is a reflection of my entire home and what I like to come home to at night. If we weren't making the bed every morning, those 10 minutes over the period of a month is a good couple hours. It could be more us time. We lived together for the past almost two years. Basically, whoever is out of bed last makes the bed. Even though we have very different opinions about how to make the bed. Very different. Mm -hmm. I'm Kelly, and I'm chore champion. I'm Patrick, and I'm chore champion. I'm gonna blow her out of the water. Get ready for the throw pillow throwdown. All right, guys, it is now round one, and Kelly is up first. Now, I understand that you have a preparation of the bed, if you will, before you actually make the bed. Walk us through that a little bit. All right, basically we just take everything off the bed except okay. for the sheets and the yeah. comforter so that it makes it a lot easier okay. to Just goes make right the on bed. the floor. Just, so we just yeah. put the pile of pillows over here. Yeah. Okay. We take off the throw blanket because that's being oh, folded. Pardon me. Do you guys sweep like a lot to oh, make sure yeah. that the floor is- Swiffer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All day. Yeah. Dry Swiffer, wet, wet Swiffer. swiffer. Oh yep. goodness. Yeah. Okay, well, then the sheets and yeah. the pillows can go on the floor then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kelly's way of making the bed is intricate. There's a lot of moving parts, there's a lot of specifics. So what's next? So next, we're gonna start with the sheets. Just make sure they're all untucked from underneath the comforter. You don't want like a ball of sheets under there. Okay. And over here. Okay. And we pull it up to the top so that we know that the sheet is even. All the if the, the pillows were there, we couldn't do that. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> right. Um, then we're gonna pull up the comforter all the way up. Now it feels to me like it's already too much work for you. I, I'm exhausted at this point. <laughs> I'm all ready for a nap. All right guys, uh, it is now time for our first question. We polled our Scary Mommy community and oh. for one point, let's see if you guys got this, all right? How often do you actually change the bed sheets? Is it A, once a month, B, once a week, or C, when somebody has an accident. <laughs> uh, what say you, Patrick? I would say we try mm -hmm. to do it once a month. You try to do it once a month? You yeah. try to do it once a month. You try to do it once a month. We get okay. busy and sometimes we Everybody forget, but the general rule is once a month. Once a month. Yeah. And Kelly? I would like to do it every two weeks. You'd like to do it every two yes, weeks? Yes, but realistically, I think we do it every month. Okay, but your laundry. answer is you should do should it every do two it, weeks. Should do it, I'd say every two weeks. So we polled our Scary Mommy community. And the winner is, by a very small margin, A, once huh? a month. <laughs> yes, Patrick, the point is yours. Yes. A, once a month. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. We had some really, really fun um, comments on this one. Uh, Leia Bugsky actually said, I don't want kids to actually see what's happening under the sheets, AKA the snacks that she's secretly hiding. So that's uh, a real thing. Yeah, that is, that is an absolute. So she changes once a month, just mm -hmm. like you. Lace J XOXOXO, she says once a week, actually. She's got to do something to try to help relax. And so she's actually of the mind that you need to do it once a week. You got to have a lot of sheets. All right, Kelly, what's going on here? What are you doing now? All right, we're just trying to get this comforter straight here. And then we're doing the little fold down here just for some little bed fun shui. She's really good, like really good, at making a home feel like a home. I know that is what she is trying to attempt with the bedroom and especially the bed. Uh, after a long day of work, I'm, I don't care what the bed looks like. I'm just gonna hit it and I'm gonna fall asleep. Okay, Kelly, so tell us what is the importance of actually folding down the top sheet? Well, A, you get to see the fun colored sheets, yeah, and B, if it's like this, then you don't even have to move the sleeping pillows to get in bed. You can just pull down the comforter and get in bed. Okay. Um, and then we also wanna make sure that we're gonna tuck this blue sheet into the bed frame. So not the comforter, but your top sheet. You're gonna tuck it into the bed frame or you can tuck it under the mattress so that it doesn't hang below the comforter. 
Um, and can't... also, it makes you feel nice and cozy and snug. Snug? Yeah. So I can't tell you how many times I've pinched my fingers tucking <laughs> the sheet into the bed frame. Um, continue, please. This is fascinating. Right. And then you put your pillows there. Okay. Now, she mentioned pillows. Mm -hmm. And I know pillows is kind of a thing with you guys. Yeah. For your second question of this oh, round, right. okay? Oh. This is worth one point to the winner. How many pillows should actually go on the bed? Is it A, two pillows, one for each head? Is it B, four pillows, you know, for extra support? Or C, six pillows? The more pillows, the better looking the bed. Uh, I think it's A, it's two pillows, because okay. you only need them uh, for sleeping, and sometimes when I sleep with one pillow and I need a little extra leverage, I just fold it in half. So I'm gonna say A, two pillows. Two pillows, one for each head. One for each head. Kelly looking a little snarky over there. What's what's happening in your mind right now, Kelly? What's your um, answer? I'm gonna go with C, six pillows. Six pillows. Uh, because you're gonna have four sleeping pillows, which this one, telling a little lie here, Ooh. he always needs two sleeping pillows. So. You Always. He always <laughs> wants two sleeping pillows. So okay. I'm gonna go with six, which gives you four sleeping pillows, and then that leaves you room to have two decorative fun pillows. All right. We're gonna go to Scary Mommy community to see what they say. Okay. All right. And the answer to the question, how many pillows should be on the bed? Two, four, or six? The answer. C, six. No. Yes, what? six <laughs> pillows. People are saying that the more pillows you put on, the better the bed looks. You don't need six pillows on a bed. Kato719 actually said the more pillows, the better, because she can then beat her husband when he's snoring at oh, three o'clock in the morning. Smart. I don't snore. Smart. You don't snore. No. So you can't get beat with a pillow. Allie Anderson, 86, she created a whole new category and put D, three pillows, one for each head, and a barrier to make sure that no more kids are created. Uh -huh. It is now one to one. You may proceed with uh, the pillow love here. All right. All right. So you're going to make sure that your sleeping pillows are in the back okay. with the openings facing out. Okay. Then you want your shams in front of the sleeping pillows. Right. And these are the ones that have the fancy decoration all the way around. Okay. I didn't know it was called a sham. It's called a sham. Then we're going to do. We're gonna size the throw pillows from largest to small, um, starting at the back. Mm -hmm. And you can play with your different textures, you can play with different colors, but you'll notice that the colors of our throw pillows are all accents of what is in the comforter. So I'm gonna put this big fuzzy one ha, ha, first. Ha, ha. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about throw pillows. When we get into bed, I'm literally throwing them on the ground. I feel like we're in some sort of throw pillow epidemic. Look at this. I like this one better. Then we're gonna have, we have these two lovely matching cream ones, also in the comforter color. Okay. We're gonna put one here on a diagonal, so you don't have to be at the foot of the bed to appreciate the throw pillows. Note okay. the direction of the texture of the pillow. Oh, oh. Yes, yeah. so we have different like textures. We got fuzzy, we got some like, you know, geometric designs. Okay. Then we've got our kind of getting a little bit smaller here. Uh huh. Gonna go in the middle, center those out, offsets the cream. Voila! And we have, thank oh, you, more. sir. Yeah. We have this final little one, uh -huh. and it can live in two locations. It could be here, or sometimes it's fun to put it right at the top. To kind it's of, fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it gives fun. your bed a little bit of height. That's where you get your flexibility. That's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. you have creative license, really. We have a throw pillow in our house that literally has metal buttons and bells on it, so not only does it jingle, but when you try to lay on it, it's digging into your face. Some business person has like a fortune and they're sitting in their mansion laughing at the fact that we buy throw pillows. And what do we do with this guy here that's on All the right, floor? so this oh, is the wow. last point. This is everyone has a throw blanket at the everyone bottom of the bed. Everyone has a throw blanket. We just like to keep it folded in half or maybe forced, depending on this one's a little bit bigger. So now, does every one of your beds that you make and you have made for the whole time you've been together, <coughs> do they all have this throw blanket at the, at the bottom of the bed? Yes. And what is its function? The function of the throw 
is that it's an extra layer because when you're sleeping with a couple, uh -huh. you both sleep at different temperatures. You know, one of you is hot, one of you is cold, one of you wants the AC on, one of you wants the AC off. So mm -hmm. you throw a blanket or one of you steals the sheets. Ah. The other one's left Burrito. without sheets. It's, <laughs> a, it's a fight in the bed. It's a lot of maintenance happening in this relationship, <laughs> isn't there? Yeah. That's yeah. nice. Or so is comfort. This... Yeah. Or comfort. Comfort. Comforter. Comforter. So is this is this the <gasps> the final product here? Yes. This, this is it. Is, this is the final product. This here. is how we do it. This is how we. How we. <laughs> this is how Kelly. How we. This is how does. we do it. Patrick, okay. you gotta tell me. Is this good for you though? I mean, look at all the time I went into making the bed in the morning. Mm -hmm. It's it's a lot of work, and it looks like a lot of work to get into the bed, like. When I'm at the end of the day and I'm tired, I just want to get into the bed. I don't want to have to do the exact amount of work to get everything off or in a way that I have to get into the bed. Mm. Okay, and, but Kelly? I mean, it's really not that hard. But really, you're just like lifting off these pillows. Oh, and then look, since this is folded down, you don't have to dig up here. Fold it down, Please. and I'm like, God, I'm in the bed. It was oh, so easy. <laughs> She, she, she proves like, a point. She made yeah. a point. I mean, but now all the pillows are just laying on the floor. The pillows on the floor. Anyway. Yeah, but you're sleeping. Who's using the floor? But sometimes I usually have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, okay. and I'm tripping over pillows uh, to get around the bed to get to the door. Okay. Uh, so they become a safety hazard. Okay. Well, it's the end of round one, mm -hmm. and uh, Patrick, you're up next. The okay. score is now one to one. Let's see okay. who's going to pull away in this competition. Mm -hmm. All right. I feel like it's only a modern thing that we've started bejazzling our beds. To be honest and frank, a bed is for sleeping and sex. That's it. I don't, I don't stand around all day long staring at a bed and going, that looks nice. Okay, everybody, it is now round two of Chore Champion, and Patrick is up yeah. next. What is your strategy going into making this bed? Uh, my strategy is to keep it simple. Uh, okay. Any excess clutter, I'm going to get off the bed. Okay. Uh, only the necessities are going to stay on. <laughs> Kelly's already laughing at you. <laughs> All right, see? The way Patrick makes the bed is very utilitarian um, and minimalist. There's no extra care taken in how it's done. Just the main comforter gets thrown over everything. So already this is this is way too much. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take the throw pillows to start and I'm going to throw them off the bed. Ah, I gotta see this. Punny. That was punny. Already two is too much. It's like he's, this is huge. So you're so getting rid of throw, all the throw pillows. All the throw pillows. Uh, if anything, I'm gonna sit them on a chair so they're not on the floor. Okay. Uh, but they don't need to be on the bed. Let's, let's be uh, clear about that. Okay, the, well, uh, this is a great time then to introduce our next Chore Champion question. Okay. okay, we polled the Scary Mommy community and asked them, what is essential on a bed? You're getting rid of most all the throws mm -hmm. and all that stuff, but what is essential on a bed? Okay. Is it A, duvet slash comforter, B, top sheet, C, extra throw, or D, all of the above? Kelly, what's it? Definitely D. Definitely D. You want the whole, the whole deluxe model? Yes. Okay. Patrick? I don't think you need a throw. Okay. Uh, but you need a blanket. So I'm going to go with A, duvet cover. A, duvet comforter. Mm -hmm. And you don't feel like you need a top sheet? Extra throw, you don't need all that stuff. Patrick goes with A, duvet comforter, mm -hmm. and Kelly goes with D, all of the above, just throw it all in there. And the winner is, it was a tight battle between A and D, but duvets took it home for the win. Oh. Yes, A took it home for the win, so that is a point for Patrick. We got some great, great comments on this one. Uh, Dill Pickles 22, I love that name, Dill, Dill Pickles, Pickles 22, uh, said, only the comforter. My toddler gets all tangled up in the top sheet. So you can imagine a little yeah. kid yep. just getting toggled, tied up there. Uh, Katie Joy said, uh, A would work for me. My husband only uses a top sheet. So we have A and B, but each oh. only on half the bed. So if you can imagine just kind of like a geometric situation. I get too where, cold with just a top sheet. Well, 
That's how people get down out in the Scary Mommy community. Making the bed is one thing that I know I can control. So if you want your pillows one way, you should be able to have your pillows one way. If you want a throw at the end of the bed, you should have your throw because those little comforts are what get us through the day. With this throw blanket, if you're making the bed alone, you've got to fold this by yourself, which then becomes a task. Okay. Right? See, it's just like too much work and I gotta throw it. And then, this, see, this is exhausting. I'm exhausted. Okay, uh, so does he complain this much when you guys are making the bed together? Yeah. Like, normally? Or is this only like him complaining to the world or when he has to do it I by himself? I'm sure he complains to himself. I do. Himself I do. Every single day. <laughs> I do. Okay. So, basically, in my bed, this isn't gonna be on it. I'm just gonna kind of throw that right put that, You're gonna fold it up real nice right. and then just throw it over there. Right. Okay. And then, all you have left are your pillows and your blanket. Okay. okay. So I will, what I will do is I will match up the top sheet with the comforter on top and then I just kind of